you can find a solution to something or you can remove the cause of the problem. Yeah. And the cause of the problem is the centralization of everything. Because the more you centralize, the more power the few have over the many. At every point you centralize more, the more power the few have over the many. The more you devolve power to communities, not least in the production of food and the basics of life, then the more the few do not have the structure to control the many because there's too many points of decision making and production for any central cabal to consensually control. So we need to be pulling out from the center further and further into communities. And, you know, I, I, we, we've got a, um, we've got a chain of coffee shops in Britain called Costa Coffee. And they're every bloody where. I think they breed at night. Um, they're in all the towns and all the cities. Well, is it beyond human initiative for individuals in the different towns and cities to produce their own coffee shops? Of course it is. But because you have this central chain with all the um, advantages that has, they put the local people out of business. And uh, it's like Uber, Uber, Uber. There's taxi firms all over the world just getting on with it. Local people running local taxis. And now Uber out of San Francisco is running increasingly vast areas of taxi businesses all over the world. What? This is what I mean. This is what I mean, that um, it's about coming out of the center, coming from the center, and breaking this cycle of going ever more incessantly towards it. They've tried to ridicule me, tried that for a long time, but I just kept walking. They tried then to demonize me, they tried that for a long time. Wait, just what does that mean? Demonize, um, say that I was a terrible person. Oh, I can't I was, see you. I was all these um, horrible things, and I kept walking. And what the mainstream do now is they ignore me. They ignore me. You know, there's, uh, there's been the, the story of um, Alex Jones and this horrific, um, obviously designed to destroy um, a, a ward against him. Uh, and normally, in the old days, the ridicule and uh, demonization days, then the media in this country would have connected me to that and said, look, and, and, well, that, that David Icke, and he's, he's, he's America's David Icke and all that stuff. Uh, they've ignored me. Even with that story, they've ignored me completely. And the reason for that is that um, they now realize that the more um, publicity they give me of any kind, the more people are going to realize that actually, didn't that bloke say this? Yes. Well, what is it else is he saying then? So they've, they've just shut, shut it down. And, and that tells you where the real power is. It's with us because censors um, are always insecure people. They censor because they have no confidence that their narrative will survive questioning, exposure, mm -hmm. debate. So if your narrative won't, survive that then you shut it down and stop it and that's what all the uh censorship is about some main takeaways from today's video david pointed out that instead of trying to find solutions to problems arising almost every day in the world the better approach is to remove the cause of these problems and according to him there is only one problem, and that is centralization. Having one or two people deciding the fate of the entire population is the new problem. Because, in essence, all these problems are fabricated by this same global cult, so as to induce a certain reaction in people. 
Then later they present the world with a solution.